Good morning. I'm continuing my first 5K journey with Fit to Run, and we're at the St. Pete location today. I'm here with Gabe, who is the general manager, and today we're talking about something I'm really excited about and that I can get on board with, and it's technology. And for beginner runners like myself, I would imagine this is where some things can really get you motivated and on track. Am I right, Gabe? Oh, absolutely. Um, it's just like a new pair of running shoes. Once mm -hmm. you get your new running shoes, you want to go out there and break them in and much is to be said as well with uh, GPS watches and technology. And I'd imagine that they're advancing so much like all technology does. So you have some great examples today and what people should consider. And what I love too, for the beginner runner and then maybe people watching t uh, today for even the more advanced runner, there is something for everyone these days. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so for example, uh, for the beginner runners mm -hmm. who are looking for a very basic running watch uh, that's just going to give you the bare minimals of what you would need while you're out there running. For example, Garmin has the Forerunner 35. Uh, so it's a very easy to use watch that's just going to tell you your pace, your distance, and your time. And it as well has a wrist-based heart rate. Uh, so you no longer have to wear a chest strap. It takes your pulse and everything from the watch itself. And uh, a nice added bonus is that it's smart enabled. So be able to connect with your phone. You can get all your text messages, emails, phone calls right on the watch itself. I like it. All right. So again, so if you're just now starting in the running game, this is where you might want to start. This is a great beginner's watch. Okay. All right. And then next up, I'm liking the rose, the rose gold. Absolutely. So we have from Garmin, the Vivo Active 3. This particular model happens to be the rose gold okay. edition. Um, so what's nice about the Vivo Active 3 is that it's a completely multi-sport watch, uh, meaning that not only does it have capabilities for running, you also have for run, bike, swim, oh. strength training, cardio, stand-up paddle boarding, and the options are endless. You have up to 25 different settings that you can do on the Vivo Active 3. So is that where you start? You let it know what activity you're doing, and then it maybe calculates a little bit differently depending on whatever activity you're doing? Absolutely. So there's different selections that you okay. can do before you do your activity. So depending on what you're doing that day, you go ahead and hit the select button on that given activity, and each one has a preset okay. for it. So, and that'll still monitor your heart rate though, and steps and mileage and what you're doing. Yes, absolutely. It'll still, all the watches will have everything that the basic watches do and each model you go up, it'll have that plus the more features. Okay. So with this particular one, it'll be a multi-sport watch. Okay, and then next up, what do we have? Still uh, Garmin as well. I know you guys like this company. So yeah, we love Garmin here. Uh, the next model will be the Forerunner 645. Uh, so what's nice about the Forerunner 645 is this is the first model from Garmin that has capabilities for storing music. Uh, so with this particular watch, you can put up to 500 songs onto it. And just as of last week, it now has access to Spotify. So for those wow. of you who are a Spotify Prime user, uh, you can download your playlist straight onto the watch and it will connect with uh, Bluetooth headphones in order to listen to your music on the run. I don't know how you top that, but apparently you can because there's another version you're <laughs> going to show us. Absolutely. Uh, so the last model that we have here is going to be the top model from Garmin. It's called the Phoenix 5. Okay. Um, so the Phoenix is going to do everything that all the other watches do, and then, of course, plus more. Uh, so the Phoenix 5 Plus series, it has still the capabilities for music, but it as well has mapping on the watch. Um, so for those of you who happen to travel a lot and not too familiar with the area in which you're running, you can actually download preset courses on the watch and it'll give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Um, it's still completely multi-sport and has the wrist-based heart rate on the watch itself. Before we run out of time, you mentioned music, and this is something I know I get a little bit nervous about when I'm going out. I do like my music, but we hear that it can be unsafe. Tell us about these headphones that you guys have here. Absolutely. So we have Aftershocks here, mm -hmm. and Aftershocks, they're actually doing their audio through bone conduction audio, meaning that the headphones don't actually go inside of your ear. Rather, they sit on the outside. And through bone conduction audio, you're able to listen to your music. I like it. And again, as we wrap up, you also recommend wearing the reflectors as well and any bright colored clothing because we know it's getting darker at night now. Yes. Earlier. Yeah. So we have a saying that you always want to see and be seen. Uh, so some visibility that we have here, um, it can be as simple as a clip on light that you can attach to your waist belt, okay. as well as a clip for the back of your shoe. So cars behind mm -hmm. you can see you lit up and then a headlamp. So having a headlamp, okay. people can see you and as well as light up your way. All right, Gabe, you, you gave us so information. I love it. Thank you so much. And we're so appreciative of Fit to Run helping me with my very first 5K. <laughs> and uh, of course, we'll put more info on our website as well.